In this problem, we want to use the graph to determine A, the function's domain, B, the function's range, C, the x-intercepts, and D, the y-intercept. So for A, the domain. Now, domain is the x-values where the graph exists. Uh, as this goes up here, see how it just appears to stop, but it keeps going on forever. Over here, it appears to stop, but it keeps on going forever. Um, now, where the graph exists, x-value-wise, which is our domain. Uh, if I come here to negative 3, if I go up, I can find my graph. It exists there. If I come over to negative 1 and go up and find my graph, it exists there. If I come over here to negative 5, um, if I go up, it actually it will exist. I just have to go up a little farther because remember, this keeps going forever. If I come over here to negative 1 million, if I go up far enough, I'm going to find my graph because as this is going up, it's slowly inching to the left. So it'll keep on slowly inching to the left forever until it goes to negative infinity. Now this one, where it exists on the right side, um, as this is going up, it's slowly inching to the right, so it'll keep on slowly inching to the right forever, which means it's going to positive infinity. So our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Now B is our range. Start with our lowest point. If I come down here to negative 1, if I go left or right, I don't find my graph anywhere. It doesn't exist down here. The lowest point on our graph is actually right here, which is at y is equal to 1. And then it goes up forever. So this is going to go from 1 to infinity. Infinities always have parentheses. And a number, unless there's an open uh, circle there, a little open dot, uh, it always has a bracket. Now C is our x-intercepts. Now this one doesn't have any. It doesn't cross the x-axis or touch it. So this is none. And then our y-intercept and uh, you just kind of eyeball it. It looks like if it keeps on going, maybe it'd cross at 5, uh, maybe 4.6. You know, that's kind of your, your choice on that. Um, but I'm going to write down 5. You can write it that way, or if you want to write it in point form, that'd be fine. So that'd be 0, 5. And those would be your answers.